Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera everyone In this second video I will show you how to use Google Collab So I'm aware that you uh, most of you have access to Gmail so as long as you have Gmail, you can run the code for your artificial neural networks using your browser. So this is my Gmail account. So all you need to do is there are several ways to access Google Collab, and I'll show you. You can just easily access it through your Google Drive. So in this case, uh, this is my Google Drive. So what you want to do probably is to, first of all, you add a folder in your Google Drive. And then you enter the folder and you can create new files. So how I'm going to do it is you just click new. And over here you will see this Google Collaboratory or in short Google Collab. If you can't see this, then probably you haven't used it before, so you need to connect the app or uh, the collab somewhere. You can search for it here. Okay, but because I've used it before, so I can just easily click new and go for Google Collaboratory. So what you will be presented with here is a notebook where you can start coding right away. So this is the interface that you will be working with if you are using Collaboratory. So probably you wanted to start with naming your file say example one and then uh, you can start coding okay, just like that so this is the interface just like MATLAB you have the workspace if you I mean in the workspace whatever you have type say I just want to add one plus seven you need to press this play button and you will see the output 8 soon because this is the first time so it will there you go so not that long you can also say press shift enter Okay, instead of pressing that button, you just can just press shift enter and you get the result. So the language used here is Python. So you can, I mean, start coding. Normally people would like to use hello world. Okay. And also the nice thing about this interface you can also add text here and this is like a mini notepad or word where you can add your notes to clarify whatever you have done so this is my first program yeah, for example so you can format it okay you can even add latex command if you are familiar with latex you may want to write uh, mathematical formulas like we use the chain rule the update rule for the weights
it will be called this formula is equals to O right minus alpha Remember, this is the gradient descent update rule. Okay. So you can, yeah. You want to adjust whatever you want. So this is uh, Python. So you can assign variables a is equals to four, b is equals to three, a plus b. Okay, so this is the introduction to Google Collaboratory. So in the next video, I will show you how we start with the regression problem. Thank you very much.